Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lee. In my previous video, I have shown you how to deploy Kong in three methods on Docker. In today's video, we are going to do the same, but this time we are going to deploy Kong on Kubernetes. Let's get started. First of all, let me open my terminal. I need to deploy a local cluster. The tool I'm going to use is called Kind, and I will also install a Metal LB for load balancing. Next, let me open my browser and I need to go to my blog. Normally, there are two methods to install applications on Kubernetes. The first method is to apply the YAML files directly, and the second method is to install the VAR Helm. I find Helm to be a little bit easier to understand to get around, so I will use Helm to do all my demos. And I'm not going to install the Postgres comes with the con chart. I will install a separate database release. Now our cluster is ready. Let's start. So the first thing we need to do is to add these repos. I've already done that, so it's just doing an update now. And this is the first method, the classic one. So for the classic deployment, we need to create a, a namespace con. And then we need to create a database password inside that namespace. Once the password is done, we can install our first database release. As you can see, the database release name is con-db, and it is using this chart installed inside com namespace. Right? Um, after that, we can prepare our values.yaml file for con. So for using Helm, if you don't have a lot of settings, you can just use one command to install everything and use the set flag to set these um, settings. If you have more settings, you need to pass in a values.yaml files for all your other settings. So let's see what's on these YAML files. So I've got a database and I'm telling Con I'm using a Postgres database and this is where you can find the database. And this is the username and where to find the password. And I'm enabling the admin API here. Um, and I'm using the 2.5, which is the latest image. And I'm also not installing the CRD with the release because I'm using Helm 3. So let's copy and we can store it. Uh, let me just make a new folder. And we can just save this as values.yaml file. And Then we can just install con. This installation command means I'm telling Helm to upgrade my, my con release. If it's not available, install it. And then using the settings on this values.yaml file. I'm going to use the k9s as a, a monitoring tool. And we can see this is our database release. And um, same as Docker. And Khan need to do a database migration first, and after that it will start. And because I've got a metal LB in the cluster, um, it will assign a external IP address to Khan proxy. Okay, let's go back. Should be ready. Yep, looking good. No problem. You can see Khan is installed. There are two methods to use Khan. Um, on Kubernetes. The first method is the same as um, what I show you on the Docker video. So you can enable the admin API. Uh, let me just port forward the admin API here. Um, go back. And then you can access the admin API now. Oh, sorry. Then you can use admin API to add some services and route to con. Let's just do a quick demo here. And then it will be the route. And if we go here again, you can see our proxy has this realm. 
right? Pretty straightforward. There is another method is to apply the Kubernetes um, entities, for example, service, deployment, ingress, and the con ingress controller will translate that and serve your services. But I will do that demo with the DeepList deployment. Now that I have shown you how to deploy the classic deployment, I'm going to delete my cluster and start a new one just to minimize the impact between different releases. I will fast forward this part. Okay, our cluster is ready. So let's move on to the DeepList deployment. So there is only one command here because we don't need to tell Con where to find the database. So it's very simple now. Um, so what it does is I'm setting the image to 2.5, enabling the admin API just for checking the entities. And then I'm not going to install the CRD with this release. And if there is no namespace Con um, in the cluster, it will create a namespace. Let me just copy and paste here and go here. Okay, so the metal LB is still installing. So let's um, give you some time. If you don't know where to find all these settings, there are two methods to find it. The first method, of course, you can go to the GitHub repository and check all the settings. The other method is to use Helm to pull down all the values um, like that. And then you can save it to a con.values.yaml file. Then you can see all the settings here. Okay, it's ready. Let's go back. Okay, let's try. No problem. And the previous route should be gone. That's right. Let me show you how to use Kubernetes to um, deploy a simple deployment and a service. And then how the con ingress controller to translate that. So let's just create a deployment first. Deployment. And we just call it a who am I and image will be contain this who am I. After the deployment is done, we will just expose that, expose the deployment, who am I to give you a name as who am I as we see port 80. So let me show you how to create an ingress for the con ingress controller to route your traffic into the service create ingress and who am I route whatever name you want to give it and class is con because for ingress controller to pick up you need to tell uh, what's the ingress class you're going to use if you're using the engine ingress controller the class name will be in nginx and next is the rule so how we want to route it uh, we want to go to test and the service name is who am I dot SVC and we expose that at port 80, right? Now when we visit this again, we should be able to tell we are reaching the who am I services. So this is a very simple um, example of how to use the con ingress controller. Um, of course, let's go back to here. Um, ingress. This is a very simple example. Uh, this is an ingress class name. And sometimes normally you will have a host name here and you will have a TLS here section here. Um, and this is the path we are going to um, go. And this is service name. So very typical, very standard ingress. Um, the con ingress controller will be able to pick up this ingress object and then translate that to serve your services. Let's go back. So this is how to install con in DeepList mode. Um, let me just delete this cluster again and start a new one. All right, a new cluster is ready. Let's go to the next one, the hybrid deployment. 
For hybrid deployment, if you have watched my previous video, you know we need to create a self-signed certificate for the communication between control plane and data planes to be encrypted. So let's just create this folder first, and I'm going to create our self-signed certificate. Once that's done, we need to create our namespace, and then I'm going to create a secret to store this self-signed certificate inside that namespace. And then I've also prepared a YAML file for you to use if you are using Self Manager. Um, this will generate a um, self-signed certificate you can use for control plane and data plane. Uh, once that's done, we need to create a database secret for the database password. And we can deploy our database first. Now, the next step is to install the control plane first. For the control plane, this time the values.yaml file is a little bit bigger um, because we need to tell the control plane um, where to find the cluster sir. So I mounted the secret, which is this one. I mounted this secret, the certificate, to this control plane and then tell, um, where, tell control plane where to find this certificate and the role of this um, release and also um, disabling the proxy and enabling the cluster here. One more thing, because I'm installing the ingress controller, I need to tell the control plane where to publish the service, so where to find the um, data plane service. I'm going to deploy the data plane inside the same namespace, and this is the service name. Okay, so let me just copy this file and save it as con-cp-values.yaml. Then we can just install it. That's looking good. Let's move on to the data plane. So the data plane is a little bit simpler. Um, we've got a secret volume. It's the same as um, here. So loading the cluster cert and then um, specifying this is data plane release and database is off. Uh, one more thing is we need to tell data planes where to find the control plane, right? And we don't install ingress controller on a data plane. Let me just save that as con dp values.yaml. No problem, let me just deploy that. And then we can go back to our k9s. check all our ports. Before the data plane is, um, is running, you probably will see the control plane is restarting and crashing. That's because the control plane need to publish the service to here. So before the data plane is um, running, they can't find this service. You probably will see this error message uh, in the um, control plane log. So now that it's ready, so everything should be fine. Yep, so the data plane has the proxy node, so it's got a load balancer for data plane here. I'm going to um, port forward our admin API as well. Let's go back. Um, if we do the 1.7 again, you can see it is running fine, and if we check the cluster planes, you can see the control plane has one data plane connected. And so this is the port name. Now you can decide if you want to use the admin API to create con entities or apply ingress resources and for con ingress controller to translate everything to there. I will leave that to you. That's all I want to show you today. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave your comment down below. I'll try my best to get back to you. Thank you for watching. See you next time.